Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I know I really wanted to be documenting a lot of this prep. Um, some of you already know if you've been following me so far that I am prepping for the cow. Um, it's May 28th. I am exactly or just under four weeks out now. Um, I really haven't been documenting it as much as I wanted to. Uh, when you're on prep, you're just so mentally and exhaust or physically exhausted. Um, we've had you know some other things happen in life. Like my dog had a stroke. Uh, some other things that have just definitely taken my time away from making the videos that I wanted to for you guys. Um, so the whole purpose of today is I just really want to sit down and chat with you guys and kind of tell you where I'm at mentally because uh, that's such a big aspect of competing is just where you're at in your head and everything else that's going on. So um, I know I've been showing you my assessments but that's just such a small fraction of what actually goes into day-to-day -day, um, prepping for a show. So I kind of want to unfilter everything and really just tell you where I'm at, um, just some things to expect if you want to compete, and go from there. Okay. Uh, so a little background with me for competing. Um, I never wanted to compete. I actually wanted nothing to do with it. This was always Kevin's dream, Kevin's goals, and um, I absolutely love being the cheerleader on the sidelines for him. So it was just really cool to see you know, him getting ready for a show and just being there to support him. Um, so, you know, I always saw couples, they were like, no, like, we'll compete together, just prep together. And um, as much as I was there for him, as I was cooking his food for him, um, I just, I loved being there at check-ins. I loved being, a, like, a part of everything. And I didn't want to take that away from how supportive I was of him by having to worry about myself. Um, so I just, I never really wanted to compete. It wasn't for me. It was never really a dream of mine. I just absolutely loved training. Um, you know, that's really how our relationship started was in the gym, and it, that was just, you know, our little our little date nights every night and I loved it. So I didn't want to take away from uh, just working out together and really enjoying what we're doing. Um, but with that, I became a brand ambassador with Sexy Strong and was working the booth at every show. So I was constantly around all the contests, um, you know, getting to know behind the scenes, getting to know the competitors, getting to know the judges, like getting just to know the whole ins and outs of the sport. So with that, naturally, I kind of developed a little itch for it and um, my boss Maritza at the time for Sexy Strong she basically just one day was like okay well you're gonna do border states so you're eight weeks out and so um, I was a little hesitant because I was like no I just I really don't want to do this um, but I'm really glad she was adamant about it I'm really glad that I just had so many people supporting me telling me that I'm gonna kill it you know I've already been training with Kevin for over a year and a half so um, my body was definitely not competitor ready by any means, but um, I wasn't starting out where I had to lose a ton of weight or anything like that. Like I already had a pretty good baseline. So with that, I did border states. Um, I got second place. I had to battle it out against Sonia Lark, and uh, it was the best experience ever. Uh, a lot of people going into this would always tell me, you know, you put so much hard work into it for you know your 10 seconds on stage and. You know, you're months in and out of just training so hard and you're only on stage for 10 seconds. So that was always kind of a thing to me, like, you know, you're doing this for so long and it's just like for what, for a little 10 seconds on stage for someone to judge you. And so I was very, very fortunate to have my very first experience to be on stage for literally almost like two minutes, just going back and forth, walking back and forth against this two-time overall winning champion. Um, you know, and that just really set the mood for everything. I, you know, it, it's my confidence that I could really do this. You know, I'm going head to head with someone that's won two overalls already, and this is my first show. And just my confidence only increased as I kept staying on stage. So it was something at that time that I knew I could do and I could do really well. Um, so immediately after Border States last year, that was in October, I went to Ultimate Warriors in November. So I had like a quick four week prep going into another show. Ended up taking the overall for that one. Um, and then from there my coach was just like, you know, we're going to nationals in Miami and that was at the end of November So I went from never wanting anything to do with competing to doing three shows within a two-month period <laughs> and um, I ended up placing 12th at night uh, Nationals so, so first national show was really happy with the results um, I got some great feedback from the judges as far as how to improve from going into this year um, 
So I took a few months off, and in that off period from November to, I started this prep about a month ago, so I was about a four month break. Um, my coach just really wanted me to eat. When I started going prep into border states, I was too skinny almost, um, and it was constantly trying to play catch up, so I didn't come in too lean or come in too skinny. Um, so like she was constantly having to feed me red meat so I could stick my weight. Um, so it was just a lot harder to do it that way. Uh, so during my off season, you know, she was just really wanting me to eat and just have some, you know, good gains and have like a baseline that I could really start with and, you know, actually lean out and look a little bit harder on stage. So with that, I became the heaviest I've ever been. I think I got up to like 125, which is exactly what she wanted me at. Uh, starting out for my first prep for Border States, I was about 118 and I got on stage at 113. So uh, she wanted me to start out at 125 so we could slowly come down to still be on stage at about 114, but I'll be a lot harder. So uh, getting to 125 definitely messed with my mind a little bit. Um, my first weigh in pictures or assessment, I was mortified what my body looked like. Especially with me, like I've grown up an athlete my whole life. I was a gymnast for my whole adolescent years and a dancer and I just have always been really athletic. So I've never been overweight. Um, I've always kind of had a build. So having to gain so much weight so quickly, it really, really messed with my head. I like, hated the way I looked. Um, and I just, I found myself not believing the process and not trusting it. Um, so it did, like when she took those pictures, which I'll show uh, right here. Um, I just, I was so blown away, I was so discouraged and I couldn't believe it and then now slowly as the weeks go by I can start to see my body lean out and um, realize how important letting myself grow was and just I had to believe in the process and trust it and um, no I didn't completely let myself go, I didn't let myself go at all but that's what was getting with my getting into my head is I had someone telling me that I needed to gain weight so then when I saw those pictures and just saw the worst place that I've ever been in and it was because I was almost told I had to get to that point. It was extremely difficult to just accept and just kind of go into this prep with a positive mind. So now that I am sitting four weeks out, um, just less than four weeks out, I'm extremely happy with where I'm at. Um, I really believe in the process now and I just, <laughs> uh, that's honestly why it's so important to have a coach is you literally don't have to think about anything. Uh, you know, they just they tell you what to do and if you follow the plan it just it works and you know so all of my trust is 100 percent into my coach it always has been i've always done everything that she said i mean there hasn't been one single thing that she's told me to do that i haven't done um, but mentally it can kind of mess with where you're at um, there's you know you can question like why am I eating so much like why am i gaining so much weight like i'm just gonna have to like come down so much harder and like you know so it definitely was really difficult but i'm so grateful that I just stuck with it and I listened and um, I can already tell like my delts are so much fuller, my glutes are like 10 times bigger and fuller and tighter and um, it just it really really did help having that off season and listening to what she was saying even before I was on prep to get to where I'm at so I'm more than confident that I'm going to be stepping on stage much better than I did my first three shows and that's ultimately what this is all about is being better than the person you were on stage before. Um, and I'm really, really confident that I'm gonna wow the judges with my progress already with just from where I was at a few months ago to where I'm at now. So I'm really grateful to have a coach that's guiding me and is just so knowledgeable in the industry. Um, she is com She's completely done everything from the get-go. Um, you know, she's done my food, she's done my posing, she helped me pick out my bikini. Like I have one person that does everything and that just really helps um, that I'm not doing. like. One person posing over here, one person around my nutrition, one person that I'm training with. Like it's Maritza does it all. Like she's 100 percent has created the little competitor that I am. I have the you know the help and support from Kevin. Uh, he's doing all my videos right now, which I wouldn't have been able to launch my YouTube channel without his help. So I'm incredibly grateful for him. And then you know he's the one that got me in love with this sport. Like he really taught me how to lift weights and I mean before I met him I was doing the squat challenge and just ridiculous things um, that obviously don't work <laughs> so he just really taught me the gym and you know just gave me a love for weightlifting and then you know Maritza just skyrocketed it from there as far as competing so 
I've had a lot of people in my corner that have really helped me get to where I'm at today and I know that I'm just going to keep improving, I'm going to keep growing and it's going to be because of them in my corner and I, I wouldn't be able to do any of this without, you know, my team, my coach, Kevin, like any of that. So I'm um, just super grateful for all the people that I have in my corner that back me up and are just there for me and ultimately want to see me succeed. So one of the hardest things for me about prep, being on prep, is the food. Um, so the first three shows, like I said, they were all back to back within a two month period. So when I first started my first prep, it was all new to me. Um, so it was really exciting, like the food that I was eating, everything, the plan following it. Uh, it was exciting, so like it didn't bother me because it was just so new. Now, once I had that off season, was told to eat and I'll eat a lot, I got to love all my foods again and get more of an emotional standing with that food. So then going back up to onto prep now, this time around, it's just like, oh, I don't want to eat this again. And um, it's a million times harder. This prep has been way harder than any prep I had last year. Um, and I think it is just because I know, I just, I know what to expect and you think that make it easier, but it just, for some reason, it's a lot harder for me. And then with everything that happened with my dog, uh, that has been incredibly stressful and uh, requires a ton of work and then just trying to balance two jobs and graduating college during this prep. So um, it's just, I've had a lot more go on, like life is happening and that's so common, you know, life happens, like this is a hobby for a lot of us. So uh, we do have to balance everything and make it work. And sometimes it's a lot harder than others. So, um, you know, you're just battling with that. But for me, the food is just so difficult. Um, and I truly believe it's all a mindset. Before I started prepping um, and I was working the booth with Sexy Strong, one of my Sexy Strong sisters, who also is a competitor, um, was kind of just like, hey, like if you're gonna do this, uh, just understand that this might happen to you. Um, and she was just super honest. And I feel like that has really helped going into any of my preps and just moving forward is, your relationship with food and when you deprive your body from something for so long that it naturally craves or that it naturally has whether it's you know sugar or um, carbs or whatever else it may be when you're depriving your body of that for so long your primitive part of your brain i'm probably saying that incorrectly or like the animalistic part of your brain is craving that and it wants it and it like it makes you believe that like you need it so you get these like thoughts like you almost want to start binging and purging and um, there's been a lot of times where you, you know women have never had eating disorders before start becoming a competitor and all of a sudden you know they are bulimic or um, it just really changes their relationship with food and uh, that can be really really scary if you're not cognizant of it so I'm super thankful that she was just straight up and was like hey just so you know, your body will crave this. It's natural, it's gonna happen, but by understanding why it's happening, that can help you stop doing that um, or help you from not doing it in the get-go. And I really, really, truly believe that my relationship with food is where it's at right now because of the information she told me before going into it. Um, you know, there's been times, not really through my first prep, like I said, it was just so new and exciting that um, I didn't really have that relationship with food yet. I was just eating the chicken and rice and tapia and um, you know, I, I loved it, like I didn't mind it, but now going into this, I, <laughs> my senses are so much more heightened. Um, I crave freaking sugar like you wouldn't believe, and I wasn't necessarily uh, someone who liked sweets before going into prep. Um, I really didn't eat dessert or, I mean, I had candy here and there, but I really didn't, I, I wasn't a sweet eater at all. Um, and now this time around, like, I walk past donuts and I'm just like, oh, it's like I want that so bad. But by being cognizant of it and knowing that like why I want that and knowing just that it's natural, it helps me have control over the situation and just be like, you don't need that. If I truly feel like if she wasn't so open and honest and vulnerable about where she was at, that I potentially could have gotten to that point because I wouldn't have understood what was going on. I would have just felt this craving and I probably would have bought into it and just been like, oh, I want this donut. And then, you know, you don't really know what happened after that. So... Um, I truly feel like my success and reason why I haven't cheated at all um, has really been just because I understand what's going on in the brain and why it's happening and that it's totally normal and um, you know it's just it, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen to everyone and 
it's totally normal, but just what you do with that, it's not okay to go and eat 30 donuts. It's not okay to go and cheat at all for that matter, but you have to have that self-control and you have to have uh, just, you just have to be cognizant of what's going on and ultimately what you're gonna do about it or not. You know, there's some people that just don't care and are like, I want this and I'm gonna eat it. And then after they feel super guilty about it. So I feel like if you're gonna cheat, cheat and own it, you know? <laughs> like don't feel guilty about it. Like you know exactly what you did. It was a choice, it was an action. And uh, just own it. Um, I am not, I'm very, very competitive. So I'd hate to get on stage and get second place or third place and be like, I should have eaten that. So uh, that's really what keeps me from just following my plan. Um, I'm su super grateful for just having people in my corner that have just been extremely and brutally honest. And that's really what I wanted to offer to you guys. You know, I promised you the unfiltered raw version of a bikini competitor. And I know I really haven't shown you much of that yet other than just my assessments. But uh, this is really the purpose of today's video is just getting down into the head and, or my head and see where I'm at. And, just the struggles of being a competitor and what you go through day to day and just, um, I have two jobs. I have an office job that I work Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and then I wait just at nights. Um, and now that I'm starting to diet a little bit harder, do a little bit more cardio, um, it's really difficult to waitress. I could have like a table of six and not have to write anything down. I can remember the whole order. Um, and now I have a table of two and I have to write everything down. It's like your mind is just so scatterbrained. Um, it, it, it does a lot to your body and like I'm so shaky now that it's extremely hard to hold a tray like I have to have the host hold trays with a lot of uh, drinks and stuff on it for me now and um, you just have to understand like where your body's going through and that you're really pushing it you're pushing yourself mentally and physically to the absolute limits and really seeing what you're made of um, and it's a lot of things that could happen that could be extremely discouraging to people um, I didn't realize that's what happening I just thought I was like having an off day at work and then finally I was just like no like you know you're not you carb depleted a little bit and you know you're just naturally a little bit more shakier and um, your mind is just a little bit all over the place so of course I'm not going to remember every single thing so I feel like truly just knowing what is going on and knowing and understanding your body is going to be the key to success um, that for me anyways because I just I know what's going on like I'm not getting frustrated with myself uh, I'm probably not the most pleasant to be around right now. Uh, I just I feel so bad for Kevin. He's like a, such a tunnel vision while I'm on prep, you know. When he was on prep, he still always made me a priority. Um, I remember when he was on Cape Week one show, he had to carb load with burgers and stuff, and he had a burger from In and Out, and I just wanted a bite so bad. Um, and this was before I ever started prepping. I just love In and Out, and he didn't get me one. <laughs> So I was like, can I please have a bite? And he gave me a bite and I'll never forget that because now that I'm on prep, if he would even come close to my burger or what I'm like, I, I can't even explain how fast I would say no. So just knowing that now and just that he's still just like whatever, I'm like, I just like completely screwed up his macros too. <laughs> like he just didn't care. Like he just, I'm his queen. Like he would do anything for me and I'm complete opposite when I'm on prep. You know, I just get such tunnel vision. Like when my friends, like I just am, you know, go from point A to point B and I just really like to stay kind of alone. Um, it's frustrating to me when I have to like explain things to friends when they're like, oh, why can't you just eat this or blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, my patience is, I already have very little patience as a person. <laughs> so when I'm on prep, um, it goes to like a negative 10 rather than just that like a one. Um, I'm just very to myself when I'm on prep and that's not always good, but it helps me stay focused. Um, it doesn't make me the most pleasant person to be around. Um, so I am working on that, I had a balance it, it, it definitely is a balance. You know, you have to be able to balance your jobs and school and relationships and put your body through, you know, the absolute test physically, mentally, and um, it can definitely be exhausting. I feel like I just wake up. Well, I'm waking up every single day starving. I'm starving throughout the whole day. And I'm actually, I have it pretty easy compared to some competitors just because I already started out pretty tiny. Um, like I'm not like, I still have carbs. There's, it's not as much as I'm used to, but I mean, I definitely still have carbs. So I really can't complain about my diet. Um, I'm not like starving myself. My coach isn't starving me, but, um, it's just from what I'm used to, I'm always hungry. Um, I don't ever do cardio, so now that I have cardio in my plan, 
uh, it's just adding that much more exhaustion um, and you know it's just it's tough this life is extremely tough but it's I'm so so thankful that I went against what I really originally where I didn't want to compete at all I'm so happy that I decided to go with it because it's part of a community and a sport that just such a rewarding experience there's no feeling like being on stage and knowing all the hard work that you put into is essentially getting graded and then placed and when you place really well it's just you know um, a validation that your hard work does pay off it's not about you know I do look the best that I look I mean there's nothing wrong with that that's always fun too but it's just more of like you're setting a goal and you're doing absolutely everything you can to achieve that goal and then you're getting rewarded for it publicly uh, and that's just a really good feeling to know that you stuck with something for so long and you saw the results and it's absolutely fascinating to see the changes your body goes through in such short time too actually um, it's just it's a really neat process and I definitely don't recommend it for everybody um, you know it definitely takes someone who's strong and can handle it, um, someone who has such an uh, emotional relationship with food, I absolutely would not recommend this sport to you, um, so that's going to be your biggest downfall and just your hardest uh, thing to overcome. I'm not saying it's not possible, but if it's not something that you're willing to do or think that it could help or lead you into an eating disorder or something like that, then definitely would find a different sport. <laughs> um, but other than that, like I love it. I'm, I'm doing well. I'm extremely tired. I'm extremely hungry. Um, you know, and that's just going to get worse as the weeks go on. I have my assessment on Sunday from Rita for my three week out. So from there, it's going to be really start dialing in. Um, so at the end of this video, I'm going to show you my week four assessment that was a few days ago. Now I'm kind of behind. <laughs> Um, but it, as you can see, like if you've seen some of my other videos and my assessments, you can really see how much my body's changing week by week by week. And uh, it's fascinating. It's fascinating just the manipulation of food or having rice over potatoes or, um, you know, just changing things, just like such minute changes that make such a difference. Or um, doing 15 minutes on treadmill versus 15 minutes on Stairmaster or, um, you know, almonds over peanut butter, or whatever it may be, where like some of the macros may be comparable, but just how your body processes it and the effects it has on the body is just so different. It's really, really fascinating. The thing that I was fascinated most about is just like the water manipulation. Um, and when you pull water at the end of the, or on peak week, like that was just absolutely incredible to see how you just like blow it full of water and then you pull it all out and just like how like lean and dry and you look and it's just, it's really cool what you can, your body can do when you're given the right tools and when you actually follow through with a plan. But that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you've been enjoying this process so far and watching me as I document this whole prep. Uh, like I said, I hope I'm going to try and get better about just showing you more of like just what my day to day is like and um, when I meal prep and stuff like that and just kind of really letting you see everything that's going on so I'm going to try and get better on that but um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if you're not already please subscribe to my channel so you can see uh, future updates and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thanks so much for watching Do it again. She does that in the end. That helps me like stay on like, it's like counting for dance. <laughs>